guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel and to a car mukbang. This is so weird, but so cool because I freaking love car mukbangs. I feel like mukbangs, mukbangs, however you want to call it, are like a guilty pleasure of mine. Is that what you call it? Like, I don't know. I feel like people are scared to say that they like it, but like, I freaking love it. If there's one thing I love doing is watching people eat. I don't know. There's like some weird comfort in it or like when I'm fasting or something. So today I thought, why not do a car mukbang? Because I feel like a mukbang in my house, like there's just too much going on. So I just wanted to do it in my car because I feel like I'm just like a lot more comfortable. I could talk more comfortably. I don't have to worry about people in the house. So today I'm actually going to be trying Blaze pizza, the keto crust pizza that a lot of people have been raving about. I'm so excited. The car's in a literally reek of pizza but I'm pumped and I'm freaking starving I know some people like to say they have half the pizza whatever I'm gonna have the whole thing because I'm starving also I did ask you guys on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I have two uh, Instagrams I have my main Instagram which is like my makeup and my personal life and then I have my keto Instagram on my keto Instagram I asked you guys if you guys wanted to ask me some questions whether they're, whether they're keto related or non keto related um, while I eat this pizza now blaze pizza is pretty freaking cool because online you can actually check the nutritional facts of your pizza when you order it or like I think if you go to the nutritional place in the website you can actually see it I'll leave a link down below all of mine or maybe a little later I'll tell you guys but I just want to get to this pizza already so here's the pizza here's what it looks like it looks really really good it looks like there's a lot of toppings and that's that I actually didn't get a lot of toppings and I'm also using my mom's sweater so like if there's like pizza grease it doesn't get on my car seat she's gonna literally kill me i'm literally like right by like the the shopping center where it's at i had to find a space because i the traffic to get to my house is ridiculous so we're doing it here there's people in front of me but like it's fine but yeah i'm so excited this is what it looks like it's pretty big it's pretty heavy so on my pizza i actually got the where's my receipt oh and to drink i have a venti water from starbucks and then i got a, a keto pink drink because i don't know i wasn't going to the dollar store but i'm like if i'm gonna spend like three bucks i can get a big water and this that I, I don't know I like to call the pink drink kind of like strawberry milk because that's what it tastes like to me and I know after this pizza I'm gonna want something sweet so I said why not since the Starbucks was real was literally right next door to the to the blaze pizza and I didn't want to get off my car again so I decided to go through the drive-thru and I also needed napkins because I'm so unprepared but yeah so in the pizza I got the keto crust I got the white cream sauce because I kind of really wasn't in the mood for like tomato sauce and I think I saw someone put on um, my Instagram story that they didn't like the red sauce I got mozzarella ricotta cheese I freaking love ricotta cheese grilled chicken ham red onion and I topped it off with olive oil pesto drizzle because I've heard that the pesto is really good and arugula because a bitch loves arugula before we get started with the questions, I'm just gonna get started with the pizza. Now, I'm not no mukbanger or anything, so I don't have anything to like hold the, the food up so you guys see it, but we're gonna try. So the slices are pretty big. Let's see what we have here. All right, oh my goodness. I'm excited. If it's, it's, it's um, I mean, it feels nice, it looks cute. I mean, I don't really care. I'm not gonna be picky. Like, I don't know why people decide to be so picky when it comes to these things. I've watched some reviews and I'm like, you guys, it's not that serious. Like, you know how many places have keto crust? Like, I feel this is fine. Mm-hmm, okay. This is so good. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is totally it. I know they also have ranch and like buffalo sauce and I completely forgot because I ordered mine online. It wasn't until I got inside that I saw and I was like, damn, I should have. I'm like, I'm one that likes to dip my pizza and dipping sauces. Is anybody else? I love to. This is really good. The dough obviously isn't as like sturdy, but it doesn't, hmm, it's good. The crust doesn't taste weird. It's really good. I'm bad at reviewing shit, but I can tell you one thing. This tastes really good, and I'm definitely going to get it again. This came out to $13, which, yeah, you can say is a little pricey because it's like a personal pizza. But, again, there's not a lot of places that you can go that you're going to find a keto crust, especially a place that literally lets you know the exact nutritional facts of what you put in your pizza like you know exactly how much you're getting not a rough estimate like you you know you see the back you can tell that i'm in back of a costco but yeah so i mean let's say if you're going out with your friends or family and you still want to go out with them and you don't want to get just wings at a pizza place as always i would recommend it i think it's definitely worth the money before i keep on eating let's get to some questions i'm really excited i, I don't think i've ever really done a q a on here so i'm gonna try to do like one keto one non-keto question 
So let's see, let's start. Any tips on Okiki oh, Licious? We love that. Any tips for people who are on keto and like to drink? I'm a bit of a partier myself. Sister, I feel you. My best, I guess, best advice when it comes to drinking on keto is just like keep it. I mean, there's not really much you can do, to be honest. I don't know. I usually just drink tequila sodas if I'm trying to get drunk faster because tequila gets me drunk faster or vodka soda my trick when it comes to drinking if you're talking about it like tasting good or what type of alcoholic drinks put a shit ton of limes in your drink because if not then like tequila soda anything with soda just tastes like nothing so my best bet is put a crap ton of lemons or limes and it's gonna taste really good also just straight shots just to get it done if you're at like a fancy restaurant or something I did try this once and it was so good I got I think I got, like, again, like a vodka soda, but I asked for muddled, like, berries or strawberries, anything they had, and mint, and lime, and lemons, and it was so freaking good, but again, that's like if you're at a restaurant with, like, a full bar and stuff like that, not like if you go clubbing and shit, but that's really good, too. So, I hope that answers your question. I think that, I hope that's what you were referring to. Also, make sure to eat before, because when you're on keto, your body is completely different. You don't have all the carbs and stuff to help you out when you're drinking, so you tend to get drunk faster. Yeah, be careful with that. Let's do one that's not keto. I'm gonna do back and forth. Do you want to have kids? Yes, I want to have kids. Of course I want to have kids. I want to have a humongous family. My goal, well, my goal, but I have this thing that I put out to the universe that I want to have twin babies, whether it's girl, girl, boy, 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 girl, like, <gasps> oh my goodness. My entire family will tell you, how much I talk about having twins. Like that's really putting shit out to the universe of how much I want twins. Like I say it so much, I want it so bad. My aunts are twins, so there is a possibility that someone in my family is gonna have twins and I'm hoping that it's me. <laughs> but I definitely wanna have kids. I know people say when you start getting older, you start getting like this mommy gene, like this mom, um, not gene. You start getting this mommy instinct and I definitely have been feeling it a lot lately. Mm. I got this question a lot. How do you reset after falling off track? Oh my goodness, sister. Recently, these past couple of months, I've been falling off track a lot just because of a lot of events and stuff going on in my life. And again, just getting comfortable where I'm at. But any single time that I've gone back on keto, like off track when I've fallen off track, this is so good. Keeping it simple. Keep it as simple keto as you can. Eggs, avocado, meats meats veggies bulletproof coffees like just try to keep it as simple or if you really really want to get back into it super quick egg fast i feel like an egg fast or a zero carb week which to me zero carb week is trying to stay at least under like five to ten carbs a day yeah and a lot of water i drink diet sodas on keto but when i fall off track when i hop on hop on back into it i try to cut off on artificial sweetened drinks like cokes and things like that just so I can get into ketosis faster because sodas never really kick me out or do anything much to it, but I always find it better that when I go back on and I don't drink sodas right away, that it just works out better that way. Also, don't think about it too much. You fucked up, you fucked up. Just focus and get on it and don't think about it too much. As long as you go back and you kick some ass, you're good to go. Where are you from? I am from Miami, Florida. I was born and raised here, but both of my parents are from Colombia. My entire family is from Colombia. So I guess you could say that's my background. You guys, this pizza is really good. Really, really good. When and how did you get started on YouTube? Love all your videos. So how I got started on YouTube was actually with makeup and this was like years ago. Started off slow, doing it here and there. I started off with a, a Nikon camera with no viewfinder. Is that what it's called? So how I would film is that I would put my mirror behind the camera and that's how I would know I was either in focus or in frame look you have to start somewhere so I started like that doing makeup tutorials doing Halloween tutorials just random things here and there it was really hard in the beginning cuz everyone in your town and your city knows and then everyone wants to like tease you about it but my best advice to start on YouTube is just do it just get started whether it's like little by little because that's how I started you start off you do it when you can and then you're gonna have a time where you're gonna like really want to do it a lot 
but it all counts on just doing it. Make the account, start doing your little banner, start you, uh, your pictures, like just try to do some research like little by little, but just do it and be real and be yourself and do content that you wanna do, that you enjoy and that you like seeing. And don't compare yourself to other people because genuinely I've learned the years on YouTube is that people like when you're real people like to see what's really going on and not being fake and like this like facade of like everything is like perfectly fine and because i mean i like that shit too i want to see like what's going on for real like in your life just go for it one of my best advices when it comes to youtube is like just do your research there's so many videos out there that have helped me to answer your question when it was maybe like four years ago with the camera with no viewfinder which was very hard but nowadays with the iphones and shit you can do literally everything on your iphone it's crazy so just do it just go for it and fuck everybody else. Oh my god, my camera is running out of battery. Oh my god. <gasps> no! You guys, what a mess. What a mess. What am I gonna do? Do you want any surgeries? I do want surgeries. I want to get my Chi Chi's lifted. I want to body sculpt. Not so much BBL, but I wouldn't mind a BBL. But body sculpt in the way of like, I'm kind of, I don't want to say shaped like a box, but kind of. I just want to have a like hourglass figure. And that's basically about it. I will let you guys know when I'm going to do it, when I go to my consultation, when it's going to happen, while it's happening. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Like, I'm going to be so real. I do not have any shame in my game and wanting things done and getting procedures done. So, if that answers your question, yes, I do. What's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Keto related? Mmm. My keto McGriddle? Oh my god. I'll leave it linked up here for you guys. That's the best keto breakfast I've ever had. Um non-keto related oh my goodness a colombian bakery breakfast with empanadas buñuelos tequeños oh my goodness with a natural pressed juice hell yes any hair loss with keto yes i mean i don't really know how to answer that because my hair has always fallen out before i did keto but i mean kind of a little more with keto do you do dirty keto if so have you lost weight like that since the beginning it's been dirty keto only dirty keto I've never really done clean keto as much as I said that I want to start getting into it at least here and there to start making better choices but yeah since the beginning I've done dirty keto and here we are over 50 pounds lost baby other than weight loss what other positives have have come from your keto lifestyle this is like this is easy but hard at the same time because I want to say confidence but I feel like confidence came with the weight loss but definitely Finding self-love and, and confidence and also being able to help others along in my way because I knew when I started this weight loss journey that I didn't want to only do it for me but for other people as well to relate to me and who I can help. And there's been so many people who've come to me with stories saying how like they never thought that they can lose weight by themselves just like I did, exactly how I opened up to you guys about it and they have and they feel confident and I think that's been the best thing that's ever happened with this keto journey weight loss Instagram YouTube thing has just been being able to help others find that confidence and self-love in themselves when they thought that they could never do it Now I, I feel like I can do it all thing I feel like keto has really helped me be like you can literally like weight loss was always the hardest thing for me ever ever And I feel like since I over like I overcame that and I did it and I proved myself wrong I feel like I can literally do anything if you can do weight loss sister You can do it all you can fucking run the world. Do you miss your beach job? Would you ever go back? I would and I actually might I don't know. I really do miss it. I know I complained a lot about it, but genuinely all those years working pool and beach and Working in hospitality and all that stuff was a lot of really amazing memories for me And I had so much fun made such good money learned a lot about myself And I don't know I feel like it's a part of me that like I've missed a lot and like having that like routine and being around the water and the beach I might go back. It's just kind of like a part-time um, But yeah, I do miss it. I would definitely go back like do not be surprised if I go back, if you guys see me in my little beach uniform again. Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Ooh, lately it's been Nina Unrated Vlogs, Nina Unrated Eats, Nina Everything. I freaking love her. She, like, I'm, I'm into, like, stripper vlogs, you guys. One of my fantasies, one of, like, <laughs> obviously it's never going to happen and I, I wouldn't do it. But, like, it's to be a stripper. I, I love strippers. I love, like, everything about it. I love the fantasy of it. So, I love stripper vlogs. 
And she's been my ultimate favorite. She actually lives here in Florida, in Miami. So like one day I just want to go and like see her. I'm completely obsessed. But she's so motivational and she's such a hard worker and it's so fucking amazing. Like she's a definitely like a feel good YouTuber. And she does mukbangs, which I love. She does stripper vlogs, which I love. Like she literally does it all. And I look up to her so much. Like she gives me inspiration to like get the fuck up and do things and do shit for yourself. And like that's been my number one favorite person. Everybody else has just kind of been the same um i'm like going through my thing to see which one is it that i usually watch but mostly oh kb and carla i love them i think they're so fucking cute david dobrik how can i forget about david dobrik i fucking love david dobrik like i've gotten so many people on david dobrik everyone at first wanted to make fun of me but now everyone is on the david dobrik hype and he's the best person in the world and david dobrik david fucking dobrik mm-hmm mm-hmm that's it David Dobrik, period. Do I have a goal weight? Mm. I did. My goal weight at first, when I first started, was 150 pounds, and I'm maybe like 10 pounds away. And I'm like, okay, maybe that isn't my goal weight. I just feel like my goal weight, I don't want to say it's a specific weight because I know even when I get there, it's, it's never going to be enough. Let's be real. I just want to get to a weight where I feel happy and confident and just, you know, living my life. I don't, I don't like, I said in one of my previous videos, I don't know if it'll, it'll be up before this, but I talked about how I don't want to live my life just focusing on losing weight. I just want to be happy. I just want to be healthy and confident. But I would be really happy like at 130, maybe. That would be pretty fucking cool if I get to 130. But 150 was the original goal weight. But now that we're like 10 pounds away, I'm like, is it my goal weight? I've been feeling really good in my body recently, so... That's not too bad. What is the fastest way to get into ketosis, sister? In my opinion, egg fast. You will literally get into ketosis maybe like a second day, third day of an egg fast. You'll be right back in. That's the best way. We're at 25 minutes already. I don't know. Should I do a part two? I'm going to do a part two and finish these questions because my battery is about to run out. We got one slice left. I hope I did a good job. This has been so much fun. A little mini video for you guys. Let me know if you guys... Let me finish chewing. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna try to finish. Let me know if you guys like mukbangs. Let me know if you guys wanna see more mukbangs, more, more car mukbangs. I got fucking pesto in my eye. This was amazing. I definitely recommend this pizza. 10 out of 10, so fucking good. So worth the hype, so worth the money. I'm gonna leave down below everything that I got on my pizza and the nutritional facts, but I'm just gonna look it up when I get home. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos every single week. Or when I don't go through funks and I post them every single week. Make sure to hit on that little notification button right next to it. That will notify you every single time that I upload. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Stay beautiful. I will see you on my next one. Amazing. We'd love to see it.